Okay, hello. So I just want to talk to you today about coronavirus. So this is a bit different to what I normally do. This channel is normally about personal development, although it's going to be about personal development to a certain extent, if you bear with me. Um, I've got a few books that I need to review fairly soon, which I will do as soon as I get a chance, but it's been really busy with everything going on, um, business-wise, family-wise, and everything else. Um, I've got 31, 32 subscribers at the minute, which doesn't sound like a lot, but to me is absolutely brilliant. I um, didn't expect to have any when I first started doing this uh, whatsoever. And um, that was a random dog outside my window, that's cool, just sniffing at my doormat there, never mind, I'm sure he's fine. Um, yeah, I didn't expect to get any whatsoever. I, just, I started doing this a couple of years ago just because I, that was when I started my personal development journey. Um, and I wanted to do something that kind of took me outside my comfort zone, which is what this does. Um, and yeah, it's basically about book reviews. I do the odd car review because I'm passionate about cars as well. Um, but it's mainly kind of personal development. My business is health and social care, consultancy and training. Uh, we do a bit of coaching and things as well. So I'm kind of into personal development. I'm kind of pushing personal development quite a bit at the minute. I also work in schools and do sort of careers advice as well. That's like, that's like a separate thing that I do. Um, so I'm very much into the coaching and the personal development side of things. So I just wanted to talk a bit about coronavirus because it's obviously really relevant at the minute it's something that everyone's talking about it's something that's happening it's something that's very real um in my opinion i'm not a doctor but there are lots of people out there who sort of say what well, load of rubbish you know we've had this before with swine flu and mad cow disease and all that sort of stuff i don't think this is a load of rubbish you know um i think it's important that we don't get panicked and we don't do silly things that, that that's what i want to talk about today really um, but I think we need to kind of acknowledge that it is actually happening and that this actually is likely to be our future now, uh, that we are going to get difficult things happening, we are going to get diseases, viruses. It's something that we've kind of talked about in in books for quite a long time and, and the experts have talked about it for a long time, but it's not beyond the realms of imagination to think that one day something could happen that kind of takes a very serious impact on us as as the human race. So I think what I want to talk about really is kind of personal development that I always talk about in terms of habits, forming good habits, and how powerful forming good habits is for your own personal development, for getting where you want to be. Um, but I think we need to sort of accept that we are going to have to change to a certain extent, we are going to have to change our habits, we are going to have to think about things and how we do things from now on. Um, just simply washing hands so much more often, using the alcohol gels, um, not being quite so slack when it comes to sort of shaking hands and, and that sort of stuff just kind of being mindful really and mindfulness is obviously a, a big part of all this as well um and i think it's just about sort of accepting that we do have to change and that things are changing and actually we we've lived in a world for so long now where things have, things have sort of gone up so quickly you know humans have been around for such a long time and the last hundred years or even less than that in terms of our development sort of technologically and everything else has just gone up just so quickly it's just absolutely exploded so in terms of how long we've been on the planet and how long the planet's been here for, our kind of progress has just absolutely skyrocketed. And with that comes the fact that we're just not as connected as we used to be. We were originally hunter-gatherer types who had to work together as teams um, to survive and now we are very much kind of about the individual and we're quite selfish and materialistic and about our own kind of good quite a lot of the time and unfortunately it takes these sort of things to happen to kind of bring us together and to kind of bring out the best in us it brings out the worst in us as well so you get these people who greedily sort of buy up all the hand sanitizer and want to sell it and make a profit and everything else, masks that medical professionals need to use and stuff like that. So personal development, like I'm always talking about it, is it's about developing yourself and becoming a better person. It's not just about being, it's not just about yourself, it's actually about what you can do to help other people. And I actually think that there's a lot we can do with this sort of outbreak to actually help people and improve things. One of the things that we are doing, and that's my wife and I, we work together for our business. I've, I think I've mentioned that before. But um, we put a thing out on the local page, local village page, um, where we basically sort of said, let's get together, let's get as many volunteers together as we can to try and look after the sort of vulnerable people in, in, in the village, maybe go around and post a few things through doors and kind of telephone numbers so that if, if they need, we can go and get shopping for them or, or whatever. So they've at least got a point of contact, basically, because there are so many people who just don't have any point of contact at all. They might struggle with, with the phone. They might, might not even know who to call necessarily. So we've done that, and that's kind of blown up, and 
I say blown up in terms of Cornwall it's kind of like there's a few other villages on there now that are kind of doing it as well they've seen it and they're doing it and that's really good um if it helps just one person I know it sounds cheesy but if it helps just one person it'll be worthwhile it's it, it's an idea I'm not saying it was our original idea I'm sure people have thought about it before but we've kind of taken the action and it's kind of happening and, and that's what personal development and success is, is kind of about is actually taking action as well so you can have an idea you can be one of these people who's got these ideas and stuff but if you never actually do anything nothing's ever going to happen so it's about just making things happen as well so you you can look out for each other to a certain extent obviously you don't want to be contaminating people the most important thing is that the elderly and the vulnerable are kept away from it i've heard a lot about this herd um resistance being built up and stuff which i'm sure scientifically that's that's you know that's the way it needs to be although it sounds fairly harsh I'm, I'm sure from what i've heard that we do need to sort of catch it to a certain extent to build up resistance that sounds fairly sensible to me um but we just need to be taking personal responsibility not sort of messing around and being arrogant and saying it's nothing and sort of like going out into public places and not bothering to wash our hands and sneezing on people and things let's kind of take a bit of personal responsibility and step up and actually do those little things that will make a difference and that's what i'm talking about when it comes to habits so we are increasingly quite unhealthy in the uk similar to other countries you know we've got quite a lot of obesity and stuff and we could do more for our for ourselves personally we could take more exercise we could drink less smoke less eat better and things and i just think that's really important for the future really is that we kind of look after ourselves and don't put that strain on the nhs if we possibly can but obviously you're gonna get people who are vulnerable through no fault of their own who for whatever reason have certain illnesses and vulnerabilities and stuff and you can't help with that but those people need to be protected so those of us who are more fortunate need to just take that responsibility put our selfish kind of needs to the side for a little while you know if we can't go out quite so much for a little while is that really going to hurt us that much you know maybe we could spend a bit of time actually connecting with our neighbors a little bit more vulnerable people older people who haven't got anyone whose family might not be around and things like that it, it, there's, there's a lot to be said for for helping people when it comes to personal development and, and success and being a val being valuable to society that's what it's all about successful people do that and that's how they ultimately become successful and, and make money is because they provide a service in one way or another and whatever that might be and, and actually like i've always said success isn't necessarily just about money for some people it might be but for for most people really deep down it isn't it's more about meaning it's more about actually having something that you care about in your life um so take responsibility personally you know step up wash your hands take the precautions look after the older people you know we're really lucky that it apparently doesn't seem to be affecting younger people the really young children and stuff so much which is you know really fortunate particularly as far as i'm concerned because i have two very young kids um but but next time there could be a virus that that, that isn't like that that actually does affect young kids as well so it, it, i think it's about actually just having this mindset and this process and these habits moving forward into the future being prepared for these kind of attacks that come out of nowhere maybe um and just thinking more positively and just being more responsible so personal development that's what it's about it's about becoming a better person it's not just about becoming richer or stronger or fitter it's about becoming a better person overall and that means coming together, connecting with people, looking after each other. Um, all the cheesy stuff that some people might sort of cringe at, but it's actually true when you think about it. Um, so yeah, I, like I say, I'm, 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 I'm not a doctor, I'm not a medical professional. I, I know a lot of doctors and they have different opinions and that's fine. But um, there are common sense things we can do. Um, panicking doesn't help anyone. Obviously, that's easy to say if you're some, someone who doesn't panic too much. But if you're someone who has anxiety and stuff, that's different. But panicking doesn't help. You just need to try and be a bit sensible and, and think about other people and, and just do just do what you can. Just do the little things that you can to, to help the situation. So um, I could talk about this for ages, but I, you know, I think that's probably long enough. I think it, the message really is just take responsibility, take personal responsibility for what you do. Don't blame other people. Don't blame the government. The government's always going to be the government, whoever it is that's in. You know, they're always going to have their own agenda to a certain extent. It's the same. You know, listen to Jim Rohn; he'll tell you that it's been the same for ever. You know, um, we put them there at the end of the day. You know, you may not have personally voted for them particularly, but 
as a as a population we put them there that's who we've got that's what we've got moaning about it's not going to make any difference so step up do the best you can and uh we'll get through it i'm sure but um we need to just sort of change our habits and improve and be the best people we can possibly be and, and look after each other